Hi, my name is Bridget Tran, the co-founder and managing partner of the Transformation Group. So for the next 15 minutes, I want us to focus our attention on next year. I know we all agree the next year, 2021, is going to be another challenging year, but at least we have the opportunity to plan for it, at least based on the information we have today, right? So we can't sit around and wait till the borders open or all the global flights restore back to normal or health crisis is over to start our efforts. We have to do it now because business does not just miraculously bounce back overnight just because everything is back again. And even if your hotel is temporarily closed, you need to pay attention because some of these things you should do it now. So when you're finally open, you'll be ready to compete. So I want to share with you some of my ideas and strategies that you would, you can incorporate now for next year, many of which will not require additional funding or funding at all. It's just it needs a little time on your end and your team to do some work. So let's start. So overnight, we have moved into a world of contactless. Guests want that high touch experience. They want that content, that constant staff interaction, but they don't really want to stand in front of you and have this face-to-face -face conversation. So if you are using chatbots, there is a lot of functionalities and capabilities that you may or may not know of and capitalize on. And for those who don't know what chatbot is and not using it, you need to pay attention. This is a software application that is used to allow your hotel and the guests to exchange conversations for the guests to perform tasks, not through voice, but through texting and typing without having this face-to-face -face conversation. So if you have chat box, most likely you have it on your website. And it looks something like this. This little pop-up on your website comes up and it allows you to, to speak to your guests and vice versa. But did you know that a chatbot can do more than just carrying a conversation back and forth? Do you know that it can function as a booking capability or that it can serve as a site index and point you to, to the information on the site, almost act like a shortcut? In fact, many of the conversations doesn't even require 24 seven real person on your end typing it. You can automate all that. There's a lot of frequently asked questions that can be completely automated. Besides the website, besides the booking engine, Chatbox can also work on all these channels and platforms. Yeah, that's right, on social, on your other chat applications. So if you currently have Chatbox, you should talk to your provider and see how you can activate or expand some of these functionalities. If you do not have chat box or if your provider cannot provide these functionalities, it's probably time to look for a provider. Ironically, I'm gonna switch gear from people who don't wanna talk to you and just wanna type and text to those only speak to a device. I know, like those who doesn't wanna type, they just wanna to talk to their phone, to their device like Alexa or computer for answers and solutions. It is the age of voice. Stat shows that by 2022, 50% of the consumers will be using voice to shop. Experts are trying to coin v-commerce as the word for voice shopping. And also by 2022, global v-commerce is expected to be worth about $40 billion. So, Let's bring back to today. If you think about today, today at this conference, 50% of you are using online search just by talking to your device. You're not even typing. So this is a big deal. And what does this mean for us? It means that you have to incorporate voice marketing as part of your strategy. If you haven't done so, you must start today. So let's start with voice search because search is a big component of our digital strategy. How do you even optimize your site or your search like paid, paid PPC, pay-per-click for voice? Well, usually your keywords and your content would answer questions of who, what, where, and how. 
And you normally would use natural or ordinary language that would emulate how people speak or how people ask questions. You have to have an intent. Because people want specific answers, your keywords and your copy has to perform that task and deliver that answer. Therefore, your strings of keywords and content and ad must reflect that intent. You also have to optimize for the search engines, search engines like Bing or Google. Now you have to remember, not all search engines are created equal or the same. Take this example. If I optimize voice search for Google and Google alone, looking at this example, only Google will understand what I'm talking about. Clearly, Bing doesn't. And did you know that Apple users, Series uses Bing as their primary search engine and not Google? So when you are optimizing voice search, look at your target audience. Look at the geo market that you wanna target. Look at the other criteria, such as the phone habits or personality or demographics or life experiences. You may have all these data in, in your CRM, but if you don't, just think about the audience and the guests that you want to attract. So if you don't want to optimize for more than one search engine, you should look at these criteria and optimize one. Voice search is fundamentally changing our PPC. So what's PPC? Well, as I said before, it's pay-per-click advertising. These are online advertising that only costs you money if somebody clicks on it. You probably have an agency or someone in-house helping you manage all of this. Use this time and work with your team to make sure that you are maximizing all your opportunity, especially your spending, by, calcul by capitalizing on all the technology that the search engines have, like machine learning, artificial intelligence, and automation capabilities. Some of the things that you can do now in preparation is review your ads with your team. Make sure your ads are responsive to all the device. And when I talked about device, I'm referring to the mobile, the tablets, the, the computer, and not just a different type of device, but also the sizes they all come in. Make sure you have eight to 10 headlines, short and long to fit the different devices. Make sure you have titles that are branded as well as keyword that targets the search that you want. And one thing that I've noticed a lot of, a lot of marketers don't do is dynamic keyword insert. You should use this function because this is using the AI that I'm talking about to help you automatically match to your target search without you even doing anything because it's using machine learning and artificial um, intelligence. Also another area that I haven't seen a lot of hotels doing, which I know you have, is video. Video, incorporate your video in your paid media. Use them, capitalize on them. Stat shows that 80% says that marketers say that their conversion is better on video than on text or static images. Let's turn to SEO, which is equally as important as PPC in our search engine marketing world. Since there's a lot of PPC updates and functionalities, equally on the SEO, the search engine optimization aspect, there's also a few new criteria, one of which is the user experience. We call it UX signals. What does that mean? Well, it means that Google is gonna look at your site, it's gonna take an account of how fast your site is loading. How easy is it to use? Is it easy to find the information that I want? Is your website easily displayed across all the different de devices? And are you using the keywords and copy to match your online search intent? So it's not only important to review your PPC AdWords, it is equally important to review your search engine optimization keywords as well as your website. In the past couple of years, Google has imported many other criteria into their al algorithm. And these algorithms that Google or Bing or other search engine use will determine if your website will show up 
on the search result page at all, or if it's on the first page, second page, or maybe last. And if it is on the page, is it top or bottom? We always want to be on the first page and on top. Since we've been talking about PPC and SEO, let's dive right into social media because that's a part of advertising. As a hotel industry, we've done very well in capitalizing social media for PR, products, education, um, branding, but we haven't really capitalized everything that we can do on the advertising part. First of all, social media advertising is very inexpensive and it's highly targeted. And one of the areas that I really want to spend time on in terms of the social media advertising strategy is using dark posts. I know it sounds bad, but it really isn't. In fact, once you learn it, you'll love it. So dark posts are as targeted ads. You buy them on social media and you target them based on the, the audience and the messaging, right? But unlike other uh, boosted or organic posts, they don't appear on your timeline. And you don't want them to because if all these ads are coming onto your account, it'll look spammy or it'll compromise your brand. And definitely I think it's gonna annoy your followers. These dark posts only shows up in feeds of people you are specifically targeting, whether it's geo, habit, behavior, um, device. This way, the people you want to see the ads will see the ads. The people you don't want to see the ads will never see the ads. This is the best way to use your marketing dollars. And if you're going to be pouring the efforts and the money into social media, make sure your account and all your posts provides ways for people to book or make a reservation. There are techniques and widgets out there that are free for you to drive direct booking. Social commerce, just like voice, should be part of your overall e-commerce e strategy. And as e-commerce strategy is getting more and more complex and, and comprehensive, we need to start, if you haven't already, Start accepting and thinking about digital wallet. What's digital wallet? Well, it's like using Google to pay, using iPhone to pay, you know, or WeChat or Samsung. You should accept it not only at your hotel, but on your booking engine. It's inevitable, especially with the contactless mentality and the growing trend of using digital wallet instead of walking around with cash and credit card. By 2022, the global market payment market will reach about $3.5 billion. Accepting digital wallet will not only open to new guests or other guests who prefers and choose to use digital wallet, but obviously anything digital will give you data on your guests. Will you have all these data from search, social, now digital wallet? You must have a a customer relationship management system. You probably hear all of us talk about it, the CRM. If you don't have one, and even if your hotel is temporarily closed, you need to look into it. You have to have a CRM. And if you do have a CRM, how often do you look at the data? Are you using it just to send your email campaigns? I hope not, because the CRM to me is like the brain of the hotel. It stores all the information about your guests from research to traffic to your site, bookings in the booking engine, and all the activities during the time that the guest is at your desk, including restaurants and spas. All that can be in your CRM. And all this information are not new information. All these informations are currently already in your other hotel system, like your PMS, your POS, your passport scanning machine, your email campaign distribution tool, your website, your Google Analytics. They are already there. You just need to speak to your CRM provider or your IT and Wi-Fi provider, as well as your internal IT, to see how you can feed all this information from the different systems into this one brain, which everybody calls the CRM. One of the biggest challenge about integrating data has continued for us as an industry and brands and hotels, especially when we're trying to personalize and customize. Did you know that personalized email messages 
generates an average of 122% in ROI. That's right. I mean, for starters, email campaigns is probably lowest hanging fruit. It has the highest ROI because these people want to hear from you. So why not leverage the data that's available to you? So if you spend $1, just $1 on an email campaign, you can generate about $32 back. According to a survey, 59% of shoppers saying that it is the email marketing, especially the personalized ones, that has influenced their final purchase decision. So use this time to incorporate your CRM system, if you don't have one, to talk to your CRM provider to see what capabilities there are in terms of automation, in terms of data feeding, in terms of system integration. Look at your database and clean it. You have to clean your database because the data you have, the intelligence you have, is only as good as the information you, it's stored. And then also, you have to use the data. We have all these great data, your data is clean, you're feeding it from all different, one direction to one brain, and if you never look at it, then it's just a waste. By integrating and using your hotel data, it will allow you to make better marketing and business decisions. So once we reach post-pandemic, all these digital strategies, best practices, and newly implemented technologies will become the new normal. You must start today to be sure that your hotel is ahead or at least be able to compete when everything picks up again. So my last takeaway for you is you need to strategize smartly. You need to think creatively and absolutely you must act fast. Thank you.